In that championship winning side was John Attio, a club legend. He was tall, he was strong, he was difficult to dispossess, and he was the leading scorer in 11 of his 15 seasons here. He turned his back on crappy little clubs like Liverpool and Chelsea and spent his entire career at Ashton Gate. He even played for England six times between 1955 and 1957, and he scored five times in those six matches, which is, when you think of it, a better strike rate than Alan Shearer. Well, John, uh, he's out on his own, really. He was a good, great player, you know. Very unfortunate not to have played for England a lot more times. I often think uh, whether, he, whether he wanted to, he, he'd, he'd done it, you know, I think, and uh, he was that type of fella, John. But, oh, powerful. He was powerful. And a great finisher. I mean, he was very calm under pressure. I mean, he could have as much pressure on him as he liked, and he still picked his spot. But he could go in the, those early, in the early, I call it early days there, I mean, in the, in the, in the mid sort of 50s, mid to, to late 50s. Um, he would power himself past people. He would go, and I knew, and he, or we, we knew which way he was going to go, and he always went the same way. Which, you know, he would take the ball to the left and take it then with the outside. And you couldn't do anything about it because he was so powerful and strong. And that's what got him through, you know. But so, I mean, he was skillful as well. I mean, he wasn't taking that away from him, but. I always remember him for a powerhouse in a way, you know, and he was as good in the air as he was on the floor as well. England in white shirts get the first real scoring chance when Ron Flowers takes a free kick. Atio heads and in it goes, but it's no goal. The ref disallows it for pushing by an Englishman. Right winger Tom Finney passes to inside right John Atio, who passes back again. But Finney's fouled by Spanish left back Campanal, and it's a penalty. Finney takes it, but goalie Carmelo saves. Looks as though he's going to have to work hard. Spain's defense is very patchy. Now England's forwards move in. The ball goes to Finney and back to Nat Lofthouse. Now run Clayton to John Atio, who shoots, and he's made it. A goal with almost his first kick in an English shirt. Brazil score early in the second half, but England soon strike back. Johnny Haynes passes through a defender's legs to John Atio. Atio shoots. Saves. Great character, great memory. Uh, I remember him as a, I used to spend a lot of time with him on the coach on away trips and uh, tremendous memory. You can remember, remember games um, very, very finely. Um, and they, they, they named him actually, his nickname was Rosie, Rosie the Elephant. And that's what he, uh, they used to call him down the ground, the lads. Uh, but a uh, great player. Never six foot two, 13 stone. Uh, very rarely smashed the ball in, um, very delicate touch, uh, great player. 